Hello, good evening, and welcome to today's video. Uh, today's video is about correlation analysis. Um, the aim of correlation analysis is to determine the degree of association between variables. Okay, um, here we have uh, two variables, ROGDP and MOP. We want to carry out or perform a correlation analysis between the two of them to determine the degree of uh, association between the two variables. May I submit at this point that why carrying out correlation analysis unlike regression analysis? We do not discriminate between which of the variables is dependent or independent variables. Okay? Um, dependent variables are treated as random variables or statistical variables or stochastic variables why independent variables are treated as fixed in repeated uh, sampling now for correlation analysis variables are treated symmetrically as being random or statistical or stochastic so none of the variables is seen as independent or try to discriminate between which one is dependent or independent so the two variables are treated as random variables stochastic variables or statistical variables okay now the way to go we have our work file prepared and we have we have the variables under consideration already here so what we are going to do is to uh, move up to this top here we see some items here so we move to quick so we can see series statistics we can see group statistics so series statistics is for individual series test why group statistics is for group of series okay so here we can see correlations we can see correlations um we click on correlations so here is telling us to series list to list the series or group okay uh, here we have a uh, mop we leave a space we have rogdp okay uh, so now we can click okay and the result is out uh, this is the result um can see the where mop and rogdp meet okay we can see the coefficient of correlation here so coefficient of correlation which is usually denoted with uh, r uh, the range of values that uh, r can get it ranges from uh, minus one to plus one so when r assumes the value of minus one we say there is a perfect negative correlation so when it takes the value of plus one we say there is perfect positive correlation uh, there are some cases where arrow can appro approach plus one it can also approach negative one or minus one so when it approaches plus one we have values such as uh, 0 0.5 to 0 0.9 or so so we say that any value that can approximate to plus one we say that arrow approaches plus one so for values that approaches negative one or minus one any value like minus 0 0.5 to minus 0 0.9 so uh, those values we say that there is a strong for positive one we said there's a strong positive correlation for the negative we said there's a strong negative correlation so for values that approach zero either from the positive side or from the negative side we only say weak positive correlation or we say weak negative correlation so from the value we have here we can say there is a strong positive correlation between rogdp and mop okay um thank you for listening this is the end of the uh, test thank you for your time and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel feel free to ask questions for any if there's any confusion 
make suggestions make contribution thank you very much